Hey folks, I'm at the Panorama Trailhead in Yosemite National Park at Glacier Point. As you just saw, it's already a great view from the Glacier Point. One of the best views in Yosemite, actually. We're just up the trails a little ways. And this is going to be the view for quite a bit of it. That's why they call it the Panorama Trail and why it's so fantastic. Here's another great view. You can see Vernal Fall now. Vernal Falls on the bottom, Nevada Falls on the right top. And our first view of Illouette Fall down here. Well, I came to a trail junction just a minute ago at 1.7 miles. You'll want to go left there, and it's, there's a sign that says Illouette Falls, 0.9 miles. Well, I've already traveled 1.7 miles, so the uh, markings in this park are old and not updated whatsoever. For example, the 4-mile trail, which is named the 4-mile trail, is 4.6 miles. So they kind of rounded things off, so uh, be aware of that, and uh, everything could be much longer or much shorter than you thought it would be. Probably longer. We're at the two mile mark now. The trail is definitely rockier. It's pretty smooth the first mile probably, uh, even more. We still have, we're still not to Illouette Falls, we're still a ways from it, so let's see how far that actually is. This stuff is flowering along the trail. I have no idea what it is. You botany buffs can tell me. But it's all up the mountainside. Uh, a lot of it's going to be blooming soon, so you should see this most any time of year you come. At least some part of the trail. All right, at 2.2 miles, we come to this view of Illinois Falls. Still got to crow across the bridge. Now we can see the whole thing. It should be lit by the sun on my way back. Here's a pretty little stream. Be a good place to get some water if you need to filter it on the way back up if you're going back up like me all right we come to the bridge at 2.5 miles it's pretty cool around the river or creek i don't know if this is what this name is illouette creek maybe anyway it's nice and cool the water's cool the breeze is cool it's going to be hot going back. An exposed ridge. That's why it's called panoramics, because you can see everything. So that'll make it hot on the way back. Thankfully, parts of the trail are a little shadier in the afternoon than they were in the morning. So you do have some shade to rest in on the way up. Oh, 
All right, I'm at the three mile mark of the Panorama Trail. Best way is to start at the top and go to the bottom if you can get a shuttle. You can pay to get a shuttle, but you need to do it months in advance, um, which would still be worth it to do it, I think. So if you take the Panorama Trail and go down to the John Muir Trail, you can go right to the top of the Nevada Fall. That's 0.2 miles to do that. No problem if you do it or don't. But the scenery is going to be to your left. Go down the John Muir Trail to the left. Get to Clark Point. That's where the next intersection is. And then take a right. That right will take you to the Mist Trail. And then you can go down to the left from there. And you'll be on the Mist Trail. You'll go by Vernal Fall. And you'll get wet. <laughs> More than likely. Uh, to me that's the best route to take for the scenic route uh, you might it, it's better to go a little bit later too so you don't have so much traffic on the mist trail on the way back down in the morning you'll have gobs of people coming up but in the afternoon evening it won't be so bad so that's my advice the panorama trail is fantastic especially the first mile uh, even a little bit further and then you can see Illawet fall which is uh, great too so Thanks for watching Lazy Hiker and enjoy your hike.